2D Adventure Adventure is when you try something unusual or dangerous. 1. Reading A. Discuss What do you know about deserts? This place is the desert. What do you know about them? Well, I know that they can be very harsh, very difficult to live in. This is why not many people live in the desert. Not even animals and plants can live there. Only few animals and plants can live, like snakes, scorpions, and camels. Which of the following do you associate with the desert? Associate, you connect. Which of these do you connect? Snow, sun, ice, low temperature, very cold weather, high temperature, hot weather, thunder, lightning, and storms. Lightning is the light you see in the sky when rain is falling or about to fall. Thunder is the sound. Storms are when winds are very fast, and it's usually raining, and there is lightning in the sky. So, which of these would you associate, would you connect with the desert? Well, I would associate sun, high temperatures during the day, low temperatures during the night, and sometimes rain falls, and storms could occur in the desert. B. Read the text on the right quickly and match the headings, match the titles A to E with the paragraphs 1 to 4. There is one extra heading you do not need to use. How many paragraphs do we have? 4. We have 5 headings, 5 titles. One of them will not be used. A. Weather Weather is the temperature and the other conditions like sun, snow. B. The best time to visit the desert. C. A word of warning. Warning when you give somebody a heads up. You give him an advice to avoid danger. D. What is it? E. Nature. Nature could mean everything that is not controlled by humans but in today's reading, what we mean by nature is the characteristic. Before we read, here is a tip. Look for keywords, for clues, in each paragraph to understand the main ideas. I will show you how we can find keywords. Have you ever thought of exploring the desert? When you explore, you try to find out more about the desert. Deserts cover a third of the Earth's surface. Cover, it spreads over an area. Over a third, 33%. Half means 50%. Third, 33% of the Earth's surface. This is the surface of the Earth. Yellow represents deserts. And they have always been of great interest to people. People have always been interested, excited about visiting the desert. The extreme conditions, the great conditions, they are to a far limit. What we mean by this, like very hot, very cold, no rain, sometimes a lot of rain. These are extreme conditions. Make them a mysterious mysterious when you are unable to understand them and at the same time mysterious and unfriendly place you cannot be friends you cannot live there why because of the extreme conditions it's a large area of land a large place with very little water and very few plants like trees and flowers Many deserts are places with extreme heat, very hot, and lots of sand. Sand is what you see in the background. One of the biggest deserts is the Sahara in Africa. Sahara is the name of the desert. 
But did you know that the Antarctic is the biggest cold desert? This is the Antarctic. So deserts can be very cold. What is the best heading for this paragraph? Weather, the best time to visit, a word of warning, what is it? Well, in here, we were defining deserts. They are large areas, lots of sand. What is it? We were defining deserts. 2. During the day, the temperature in the Sahara can reach, can get to 50% degrees Celsius. But at night, it can drop, it can go down to below zero. Deserts receive, they get, very little rainfall. But when it rains, if rain falls, it pours a lot of rain, very heavy rain. After that, months can pass without any rain at all. So rains are rare, but when it rains, it rains heavily. Now, to choose the best heading, look for keywords. Like here, 50 degrees Celsius during the day. At night, it can drop to below zero. These are keywords. We are talking about the weather in the deserts. Three, amazingly, surprisingly, some animals and plants can survive, stay alive in the desert. Like what? Like the camel. Camels can drink large amounts of water, lots of liters and gallons of water in one day and survive for seven days without drinking again. As for plants, to give you an example of plants, cacti. Cacti is plural for cactus. Cactus, singular. Cacti, plural, are very common. You can find them everywhere. They store water. They save, keep water in their leaves, roots, and stems. One leaf, singular, two leaves with V. These are the roots, and this is the stem. Choose a heading. The nature, the characteristic of the desert. Four. The desert is a dangerous place, so be prepared, be ready, and never travel alone, all by yourself. Heat stroke, severe sunburn, sunburn and heat stroke are illnesses that you can get if you expose yourself to the sun for a long time. Severe, very serious sunburn. Your skin will seem as if it was burned by the sun. And insect bites, insects like roaches, ants, bites when you want to eat, you bite the food, are possible dangers. So, keep your head and body covered. In other words, dress like the locals, like people who live in the desert. Clothes should be long, light, and loose. Light, not heavy, and loose not tight and of course don't forget to have lots of water with you you need to drink a lot because you will sweat a lot you will lose a lot of water in paragraph four we talked about warning keep water with you dress something light and loose and be prepared this is a warning now this is a web page somebody read this and he wrote a comment. A comment is like a feedback you leave for the one who wrote this. I've traveled to lots of places around the world, but my last trip was something else. I traveled around North Africa for a month, and I spent a week in the Sahara. Your information helped a lot. Thanks. Posted by, publicly displayed by, Keith Sheffield at 18.09 C. Read again if you need to and answer the following questions. Choose A, B, or C. 1. According to the text, based on what you read in this text. 
What is true about the Antarctic? Is it bigger than the Sahara? Is it a kind of desert, a type of desert? Or maybe there is no life there. Based on what you read, Antarctic is the biggest cold desert, so it's a kind of desert. B. 2. Why does the writer mention camels and cacti? Why? Because they have been in the desert for centuries, hundreds of years, or because they can live without water for a long time, or because people cannot survive in the desert without them. He mentioned them as examples for animals and plants that can survive. B. 3. Which of the following would be most useful, very helpful, when traveling in the desert? A hat, like this. This is a picture of a hat. Or a pair of shorts, or a pair of boots. Remember that you should keep your head and body covered. So shorts are inappropriate. A hat would be great. What about boots? Well, you don't necessarily need boots. Shoes would be okay if you wear something long. 4. What is not true about Keith? Keith is the one who wrote the comment. What is not true, false about him? A. He found the advice useful. He found the recommendation useful. B. He spent only a week. He stayed for only a week in North Africa. Or he visited the desert. Well, B is not correct. Why? He spent a month in North Africa. He spent only a week in the Sahara. So B is not correct. D. Look at the highlighted words. Extreme, drop, survive, star, and severe. And choose the correct meaning, A or B. What's the meaning of extreme here? Extreme conditions. Very hot, very cold. No rain or a lot of rain. Great or usual? Great. The temperature drops at night. It goes down. When you survive, like camels, you stay alive. When you store water like cacti, you keep water inside you for future use. If you get severe sunburn, that means it's really bad, it's serious. E. Discuss. Would you like to go on a journey through the desert? Would you like to visit the Sahara Desert? If yes, why? If no, why not? Well. If you asked me this question before today, I would have definitely said no, why would I visit the desert? But after today's reading, I feel a little intrigued by the desert. And I really feel like, okay, maybe sometime I want to visit and stay for a day or two. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercise. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.